वन वेरी मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट बट मिस अंडरस्टूड हाउस इज द फोर्थ हाउस देर आर मेनी मिसकनसेप्शन रिलेटेड टू दिस हाउस ऑल्सो एंड वॉट आई हैव नोटिस दैट एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स डोंट यूज दिस हाउस प्रॉपरली फोर्थ हाउस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट इंडिकेट्स पाताल or the neither worlds or underworld whatever you say now people who follow lal kitab they take sixth house as the patal but this is not correct the definition of patal is that it is below the earth now if you notice how sun moves in the sky at sunrise sun is in the ascendant in noon sun is in the 10th house at evening sun is in the 7th house and in midnight sun is in the 4th house this midnight is the time when just at the opposite part of the earth there is day right so you say when sun is in the 4th house it have gone below you are on earth you are standing at the top and in the midnight sun is at the below right so in the morning and in the evening you can say sun is on earth in afternoon sun is in the heavens and in midnight sun is in the neither world so patal or neither world indicated by fourth house which is done in vedic astrology is more astronomically accurate now coming to the signification of patal what does it indicate fourth house as patal so this was one of my first techniques which i have taught in my first course jyotish praram right that what i have seen fourth house is a very important house and most importantly according to me fourth house should have benefic planets right fourth house should have benefic planets because malefic in the fourth house is the demon is the demon from patal is the demon from neither worlds which can disturb your happiness enjoyment contentment and satisfaction what you will see that people who have malefics in fourth house malefics influencing the fourth house understand it as malefic in the fourth house is like you are living life you are living your life you are sitting in your home and behind your home there is a tunnel which connects from the neither world and often some demon comes out from the tunnel and starts disturbing your life this is malefic in the fourth house right there is no fixed pattern but over time you say every two year three year every one and a half year some new problems come up and these problems disturb you right the person cannot live with peace contentment and happiness despite all their best efforts because something or the other comes up and it starts disturbing them if it is in the horoscope this is a common life pattern otherwise also when there are malefics transiting in the fourth house of horoscope you will see the same trait will happen in that particular time as well multiple disturbances and different things will come up you say after 4 or 5 years someone in family becomes diseased and remains diseased for one one and a half two years it keep on disturbing you over and over again then for three four years life is good after that you say suddenly your child or someone very important in the family goes into bad company and this keeps on disturbing you for coming three four years right so such disturbing agents keep on coming in life if there is malefic in the fourth house now as i have told you this will happen so what you will do you will remedy this planet you will pacify this planet this is common basic understanding which should come naturally to you right and i don't think this is something that i have to tell every time so this is very basic point that you have to understand right on the other hand benefits in the fourth house are very good because when there are benefits in the fourth house such disturbances this demon from the neither world which is coming and disturbing you these disturbances are not coming when there are benefits in the fourth house what i have seen that life goes smooth there is not much ups and downs in life specifically 
सडन डिस्टर्बिंग थिंग्स सडन डिस्टर्बिंग एजेंट्स सडन डिस्टर्बिंग इवेंट्स कमिंग इन लाइफ डज नॉट हैपन लाइफ हैव अ लीनियर स्टेबल प्रोग्रेस विच इज वेरी कंफर्टिंग टू द नेटिव now in this regard you will remember that the malefic in the fourth house if it is exalted on rashi mul trikon vargottam then it will not be very bad as in these conditions malefics also give good results right this is something that have to be understood and on the other hand benefic in the fourth house also if it is debilitated combust going into a planetary war goes into an inimical navamsha then complete stability linear progress satisfaction and contentment in life is also occasionally disturbed by disturbing agents and disturbing events in life very often right so it's not like life is permanently disturbed but with time you know bad things may come now this is only with respect to when there is a planet in the fourth house you can also apply this technique on the planets aspecting the fourth house but it is more applicable if there is a planet situated in the fourth house that is the first thing that you should understand with respect to the fourth house another thing is fourth house also indicates progress those who are my students they should have heard that upchaya 3 6 10 11 houses indicate growth that is there but if you notice this third and sixth house are also negative houses so though it gives growth in life but negativity also comes so it's like you are progressing in life but along with that progress you are also having enemies jealousy competition in life as well 10th house and 11th house also gives you progress in life but this is your own progress right the progress that you have made whereas fourth house is vriddhi as in growth and this growth is natural growth by luck right so when you do good karmas in life some of it you will reap in this life itself some of it you will reap in the next life when you have benefic planets influencing the fourth house this vriddhi aspect of the fourth house becomes very prominent and in such cases whatever good karma the native is committing in this life they get the good result of it in this life itself so this makes the native very very fortunate and <clears throat> progress over time is there so strong planet in fourth house benefic planet in fourth house gives this type of happiness that with age with time with practice professional status of the native income of the native societal status of the native keeps on increasing whereas if there are malefics or weak planet influencing the fourth house then this natural growth which happens over time is obstructed in that particular scenario if there are malefic or weak planets in the fourth house then even after you know giving much time to the company uh, people in the company does not value you even after doing much for the society even after living for long in the society people around you are not valuing you such problems it create it, that is another aspect related to the fourth house and for this particular reason because fourth house is vriddhi vriddhi means growth and expansion and jupiter also indicates the same thing growth and expansion that's the particular reason jupiter connected to the fourth house is taken as a very strong blessing in horoscope and i can say one thing with confidence that if jupiter is connected to your fourth house in any way then whatever is your wish or desire that will come true for sure any legitimate wish or desire if you are having you will be able to fulfill it either today or tomorrow don't worry about it remain tension so natural growth that happens with time like with age people uh, you know as you grow older people respect you right as you work more and more your professional status increases these things naturally happen when fourth house is having strong planet when fourth house is having beneficial planet. because fourth house is vriddhi it should also be understood that fourth lord or planets in the fourth house in their dasha antar dasha give growth so if one is looking to grow their family by marrying or if one is looking to grow their family by having children then beneficial planet strong planet or a powerful and beneficial fourth lord and its dasha antar dasha is very crucial 
for this particular reason whenever you are predicting about childbirth or marriage or other such things which can be termed as growth you should pay attention to the fourth house without fail one more thing is there now because it is growth and many a times the growth can be malevolent also when fourth house is afflicted by malefic planets specifically when the rashi which is falling in the fourth house the same rashi in navamsh is also having malefic planets in that particular scenario bad growth or malevolent growth can also happen in body in the case of disease right so things such as cancer tumor cyst etc i have seen can develop in these people what they should to remain careful remedy this planet if there is any health problem that you have been lately with lately you know feeling don't ignore it consult a doctor take preventive measures this thing you do this is common sense i think people will have this but very surprisingly i find that people don't have such common sense whatever <clears throat> okay another thing is see fourth house is also named also talks about land property house right so one principle is there <laughs> multiplicity principle what i call if fourth house is having strong planet if fourth house is being influenced by powerful planet now it is not dependent on benefic or malefic you have to understand this differentiation very clearly benefic indicate good result malefic indicate bad result that is okay but for the result to be powerful you need a strong planet for the result to be weak it is indicated by weak planet now if fourth house is connected to a strong planet exalted planet own rashi planet muru trikon planet var guttam planet retrograde planet etc then in that particular scenario because fourth house indicates land vehicle and property one have multiple land multiple vehicles and multiple properties this will also come true when the fourth lord is powerful as well that is first point secondarily whatever is happening with land vehicle or property that should also be decided with respect to the fourth house so many a times what you see because of property problems can happen because of property fight litigation etc can happen within the family or with other people this happens when the fourth house is connected to the sixth lord or mars which indicate fight many a time what happens that because of investment in property great losses also happen this will be true if saturn or 12th lord are connected to the fourth house loss etc will also happen because of property right in the same manner when you talk about vehicle if 12th lord or saturn etc is connected to the fourth house in that particular scenario vehicle will give a lot of misery and lot of losses in such cases people have you know their vehicle are generally standing in the service center only because it is having one or other problem every other day if mars rahu sixth lord such planets are connected to the fourth house then accidents because of vehicle cause much trouble in the life of the native what the native should do first of all native should remain careful another thing is if such combinations are present in your horoscope in that particular scenario purchase vehicle etc in the name of your mother father brother uh, brother wife son some trusted relative and it is better not to have it in your name because you are having a bad you know combination with respect to the fourth house because it also indicates home fourth house also indicates neighborhood and generally when there are malefic planets in the fourth house or when malefic planets are transiting in the fourth house one lands into trouble because of their neighbors or the neighbors of the native are disturbing who will create problems to the native so if your neighborhood is creating problem to you if people around your neighbor are creating problem or disturbance any type of in your life then you should remedy the malefic planet who is influencing in the fourth house that will be of great help this is how it should be understood other than that because it also indicates house because fourth house also indicates house many a time we are confused about what type of house we should purchase first of all because fourth house indicate house land property if when sorry when pow when powerful planet is connected to the fourth house or when fourth lord is powerful 
in the dasha antar dasha of this planet gain of land gain of property gain of vehicle will happen right that is a thing when there are benefic planets transiting the fourth house then happiness and good result because of land property vehicle will happen when prominent powerful planets are transiting through the fourth house at that point of time gain of property gain of vehicle will also happen on the other hand because house is also connected to vastu when malefic and bad planets are connected to the fourth house there are major vastu defects in home which can be creating problem in your fortune so it is advisable to consult good vastu shastri and get the vastu rectified right the biggest remedy for malefic connected to the fourth house is get your house checked for vastu and rectified right and both both of the ways are there expensive vastu remedies are there cheap vastu remedies are there both things are there right so about vastu we will talk some other day not today that is also thing now with respect to land and home two three things are there see major major things i will deal about sometimes people are confused about whether we should purchase a land and make property over it or we should purchase an already made up land so mars indicates land if mars is connected to fourth house or friends of mars jupiter sir are connected to fourth house and this should be a positive connection so positive connection means either mars sun jupiter connected to the fourth house are friends of mars sorry are lord of good houses or are into a powerful situation in that particular scenario one should purchase land and build home over it that is more beneficial for the native when venus moon saturn they are connected to the fourth house in that particular scenario it is better to purchase an already built up property and start living into it or renovate it for your living but that is better generally when moon and mercury are connected to the fourth house in that particular scenario one don't have property or have property later in life because chape chandra anavrate desh right moon indicates sleeping under sky generally with moon or mercury connected to the fourth house what i have seen that though these people may have property but they spend maximum or their maximum of their life in rented properties etc because of their profession because of the education of children any reason x y z in this particular scenario jupiter venus moon and strong planet connected to the fourth house also indicates that one lives in a very palatial luxurious big home right this is also important. nowadays the flat system is also there and many people live into high rise buildings or into flats this is indicated by sagittarius so sagittarius aquarius capricorn saturn jupiter these planets indicate high rise buildings right so if these are positively connected to your fourth house then living in a high rise building having a flat in high rise building will be more suitable for you. now according to the planet connected to the fourth house you can make changes in your home and as i told you vastu remedies are the easiest way to rectify the fourth house right so if sun is connected to the fourth house then make more use of wooden articles so using wooden chairs wooden tables wooden comb wooden tooth toothbrush will be good if moon is connected to the fourth house then having your home near a water body or having a small fish aquarium fountain etc inside your home will be very beneficial if mars is connected to the fourth house then this brick design right having bricks in your home without plaster or having bricks in your garden without plaster or such brick type of design setup layout having it will be very beneficial for you when mercury is connected to the fourth house then uses of steel etc is very beneficial so using steel table steel chair right uses of a lot of steel etc in making doors frames windows will be very beneficial when jupiter is connected to the fourth house in that particular scenario using a lot of you know cloth using a lot of bedding is very beneficial when jupiter is connected to the fourth house make sure that everything in your home exudes luxury right so generally use of luxurious colors like white use of things which 
you know which uh, which are difficult to maintain but using it and maintaining it also is a very great remedy for jupiter venus does indicate having good plants having good beautiful plantations in and around your home right so decorating your home with indoor plants having a small balcony garden or small garden outside your house will greatly strengthen your venus more importantly if you are using flowers flower white flowers if saturn is connected to the fourth house then in that particular scenario more uses of iron and iron based object cast iron etc will be very beneficial most importantly when saturn is connected to the fourth house then keeping your home organized having a habit of you know cleaning the home once every week and maintaining proper cleanliness of the property will be very beneficial when rahu is connected to fourth house in that particular scenario the home it is better if there is if it is only ground floor home then it is very better or if rahu is connected to the fourth house then only in one floor complete setup should be made right so you know like complete area dining kitchen bedroom living room hall if all is all is at the same floor then it is very beneficial other than that rahu also indicates that the home should be organized this is a very great remedy for rahu for ketu uses of dark color should be avoided and generally things which are into check pattern polka dot pattern such curtains etc such sofa sofa covers etc such bed sheets such bed sheets such towels if used in home then it will prove to be very beneficial one thing is there you see fourth house indicates happiness contentment satisfaction enjoyment also as you do these small changes in your home you will see your happiness contentment enjoyment satisfaction is slowly slowly increasing in life and as you keep on doing it your life will be more happy and contented do this it will be very very good now because fourth house indicates happiness as i just told you the planet which is connected to the fourth house indicates which things give you happiness you can also use it if you want to gift something to someone you can check their horoscope you see which planet is connected to their fourth house and you can gift them that particular thing because this is what gives them happiness alternatively you can check the navamsha occupied by the fourth lord because navamsha indicates the inner desires and you can gift that particular thing to the people that they will greatly like for example if fourth lord goes to the navamsha of mercury or jupiter then books and things related to literature they will love a lot if the fourth lord is going into navamsha of sun then things related to royalty they will love a lot etc etc so right basic signification of planets you know when benefic and when benefic planets are connected to the fourth house one generally remains happy because they have things which make people happy so their life is good for this particular reason the analysis of fourth house is very very important if you want to know if someone will have a good life or not fourth house is very important whereas when malefics are connected to the fourth house it gives you unhappiness specifically in dasha and dasha malefic planets transiting through the fourth house also indicate it is a period of unhappiness so be careful about these planets do remedy of these planets this is what is needed when strong planets are connected to the fourth house then great happiness comes now this great happiness should be understand understood as winning of lottery or getting something that you have never expected having such things in life that you have never expected so you see if someone belongs from a very humble background but they go on to become very successful very rich they will become greatly happy right because they have achieved something that they cannot imagine this happens in life when your fourth house which indicates happiness is connected to a very strong planet right in the same manner fourth house also indicates comfort when powerful and beneficial planets are connected to the fourth house one lives a comfortable life one lives luxurious life so as in comfortable one have luxurious things one have many servants to cater to one have many people to support them on the other hand when malefics are connected to the fourth house one does not live life of comfort 
in this particular scenario, many servants are not there. Many things related to luxuries are not there and person have to do many things themselves. Person is, a person have to do a lot of things themselves. Person have to do a lot of hard work. Generally in such cases, the life is, you say difficulty in life is more, their life is more difficult. When benefic and strong planet are connected to the fourth house, life is more easy, right? More resources are there. Many people to help are there. Much responsibility is not on the native. So how much responsibility will be there on the native? How freely the native will be able to enjoy is also seen with respect to the fourth house. Generally, when malefics are connected to the fourth house, weak planets are connected to the fourth house because multiple responsibilities are there and many things related to comfort is not there. Over the time, because person is not having a comfortable seating, not having a comfortable sleeping because a native is engaged for the complete day, they don't find time for themselves and slowly, slowly they have lifestyle related diseases. Slowly, slowly they have mental problems, dissatisfaction and all these things, frustrations, etc, etc. Right. So in these ways, it should be understood. And if there is a malefic planet connected to the fourth house, if there are bad planets connected to the fourth house, which is causing you discomfort, then you should see which are the planets. For example, if, Mar if Saturn is connected to the fourth house, then discomfort is because of Saturn, right? So discomfort is because of servants. In this particular scenario, one should see if one is having servants, then these are the servants who are more than problem which who are problematic for you rather than actually helping you. So you should be careful in choosing your servants. If servants are not there, if the person, because if the Saturn is weak also, see Saturn, strong Saturn connected to the fourth house, what will happen? Servants will be problem. So find the problematic servant, replace the servant. If Saturn is weak also, then person will not have servants. And because of servitude, the person can have misery. So one should sit and think whom I am serving, whom I am working for. Am I working for right people? Am I doing the right thing? Think over it, change it, right? This way you can have more comfort, more happiness, more contentment in life by analyzing the malefic planet and influencing the fourth house. On the other hand, when benefic planets are connected to the fourth house, you see Jupiter is connected to the fourth house. Then comfort and happiness is because of ethics, dharma, morals. So one should make sure that they remain ethical, that they follow dharma, that they have strong morals and they abide by it. Because if they start compromising with that, they will lose their happiness, they will lose their comfort and difficult times will come. So the first remedy in astrology is to synchronize yourself with your horoscope. Once you start doing that, because horoscope is a journey map, right? Understand the map, take the right direction, take the right step. And then you will live a beautiful life. And the prime purpose of astrology, why sages developed it, why sages did so much hard work, is that people who read astrology are able to live a beautiful, happy life. Right? That is the particular reason. Right? Fourth house also indicates mother. And what I have seen when there are male planets connected to the fourth house, Sun, Jupiter, Rahu, Saturn. In that particular scenario, male have, mother have to take a lot of responsibility. Generally, in such cases, working mother will be there and much care, affection, etc. from mother cannot be expected because mother is very much busy in her own life. When female planets are connected to the fourth house, Ketu, Mercury, Moon, Venus, in that particular scenario, one's mother is very loving, very caring, right? And mother is good support in life. Now, with respect to relationship, I always say, check the relation between Lagna Lord and House Lord. So check between Lagna Lord and Fourth House Lord. If Lagna Lord and Fourth House Lord are 2, 12, 6, 8 to each other, in that particular scenario, the relationship with mother will be problematic. Right? On the other hand, if Lagna Lord and Fourth Lord are conjoined with each other, 5, 9 to each other, 3, 11 to each other, 4, 10 to each other, then there will be very good relationship with mother. Good support will be there from mother. Right, mother will give you a lot of things, etc. Et right. When the Lagna Lord and Seventh Lord are one seven to each other, in that particular scenario, mother loves you, mother supports you, mother wants to do a lot of things for you. But because your temperament, time, 
and the likes, dislikes, etc., are not matching. Outwardly, there are differences. Inwardly, there is support. Right. In this way, it should be understood. And yeah, this way it should be understood. This much about mother is enough. More than that, mother I have her own horoscope, so you see that. <laughs> right. One thing is there. See. Fourth house also indicates Vidya, Vidya as a knowledge, education. According to me, see, some people mistake fifth house as knowledge, but fifth house is intelligent, right? Fifth house tells you how intelligent you are. That is another thing. A person can be intelligent, a person can be foolish. What a person is thinking, etc. Fifth house is intelligence, learning. And vidya, knowledge, learning comes from the fourth house. So what one have learnt in school, what is the formal learning of the native that should be seen with respect to the fourth house planets connected with the fourth house. Right. So generally you say if sun is connected to the fourth house, then things related to biology, physics, or you say politics, medicine, one will learn. Right. If in the same manner about other planets, you can see if Mars, Saturn or Rahu is connected to the fourth house, then engineering, right? One can learn about engineering. Mercury, Moon, Venus connected to the fourth house, one will learn about business, right? Jupiter, Venus, they also indicate learning about arts right? or what you call social science. Venus, Moon, Sun also indicates education in medicine, right? Saturn Mars also indicate education related to law. So what education one will take can be easily seen with respect to the fourth house. Most importantly, many a times, see what education one will see can be seen through the fourth house. That is okay. See, astrology is not for children. So by the time one will be able to make maximum use of astrology, they will have already completed their education. The purpose is not about which education one will take. The purpose is about which education one should take. For example, I tell a child who is, you say, 10 years old, that you will read law, you will learn law. You will have education in law. Now suppose that the mother, father of the child are very arrogant and they don't believe in astrology and they take a pledge that I will teach anything to my child but not law. If they take a pledge, will you say that it will still happen that they will learn law? Of course not. If someone have decided to go, if someone have decided to do something, a very strong karma, then this will happen only. Right? There is no two thought into it. Right? So one can do anything that they want. That's another point. Then what is the uses of astrology? The uses of astrology is you can read anything, you can learn anything that you want. But your education will be useful for you only when it is synchronized by horoscope. Right? So only when you pursue education related to the planet connected to the fourth house, only then your education can actually help you make a living. Only then your education can teach you skills which you will be using in your life. Generally, you will say someone have learned engineering, but they are doing job of an MBA and they are making their living on, only out of this particular job, which is more suitable to an MBA rather than to an engineer. In this case, what you will see that planets which indicate MBA, Mercury, Moon, most importantly, Mercury will be connected to the fourth house. Now, because of this particular reason, now the uses of astrology is that you will see the horoscope of the native beforehand and you will say that if the person learns about commerce, if the person takes education in business, then it will be very beneficial for the native. This is the uses of astrology, right? So which educational stream is good for you? Which educational stream, knowledge from which educational stream, skill from which educational stream you will actually be able to use is seen with respect to fourth house, which should be carefully analyzed for the horoscopes of the children and the optimum best education should be recommended. Because if you cannot use your education to, you know, if you cannot use your education to earn money, to have a job, 
then it is a mere time waste and waste of money. It should not be done. Right. Now, two, three things are more there. See, fourth house also indicate waters. Right. So when malefics are connected to the fourth house, then waterborne diseases, diseases because of drinking, you know, contaminated water, etc., can happen. So this should be understood. When there are weak planets in fourth house, then water intake of the native will be weak, which will create further issues in the native. So weak planet connected to the fourth house, a good remedy is to consume more water. Right? When there are benefic and strong planet connected to the fourth house, then living near water body and dealing in things related to water, so dealing in oil, petroleum, etc. You say, dealing with gems, jewelries, right? Engaging into business of import, export, right? Uh, dealing with business related to salt and all the things that are found using water, from water, from sea, from river, are beneficial to the native when benefic and strong planets are connected to the fourth house. Because 10th house also indicates profession. When 10th lord is connected to the fourth house, then also water related things are very beneficial. So one can make a water park or one can do import export business where the things will be imported and exported by aeroplane. So they will cross seas or most importantly, they should engage in import export profession of things which are imported and exported using water. Right. And such things. If the sixth lord is connected to the fourth house or fourth lord in that particular scenario, because sixth house indicates fear also and Saturn also indicates fear, one can be fearful of drowning, one can be fearful of water. And generally, such fear is instilled because of an incident. So these people should be very careful while going near water. When eighth lord, etc., are connected to the fourth house because fourth house indicates water, these people should also be very careful while going near water because water can give them wounds. Water can create problem for them. You know what eight lord indicates, right? I don't have to explain it. Right. So this way also it should be understood, right? People dying inside water or all these things X, Y, Z is seen with respect to the fourth house, right? Example, if you see the horoscope of Paul Henry which was a French deep sea explorer, Titanic expert who died on Titan on 18th of June, 2023. If you have been following my videos, you will also know that death by accident is seen from the sixth house, right? In his horoscope, the fourth Lord, which is Mars is going into sixth house where he is conjoining with Rahu and Saturn, right? So because of this particular reason, because sixth house indicates accident, water accident happened. And because sixth house also indicated death by accident, right? He died because of that particular accident, right? Death by accident is also indicated because the sixth Lord is debilitated, right? And the sixth Lord is debilitated in the third house. So he himself chose to do this. He himself chose to go. So in this manner, because see, so these things are you know, like 6,000, 4,000 indicates water. This is how the significations are used. Death because of water, fear because of water, phobia because of water, problem because of drinking contaminated water, bad water, which people should uh, drink more water, whom should consume more water, which people should, you know, eat more watery fruits and vegetables, etc. should be decided with respect to the fourth house, which people will benefit uh, now in, in working with water or dealing with the things related to water, etc., etc., right? People who have a very uh, successful water related company, such as people who have, you know, uh, people who founded Bissellery, etc., right? They are all connected to the fourth house. This is how it should be understood. Now, one thing is there a small topic I will come over. See, As I must have told in many of my previous videos also, fourth house also indicates love. Love marriage or any type of love is indicated by fourth house. Right? Let me be very clear about it. Fourth house, if you see bodily, fourth house indicates heart. 
and if you see love love is connected to heart you know you love people by heart na dil dhadakte sometime people some people take fifth house for love also fifth house indicates stomach kidney do you love through your kidney what do you say your lover that i have given my kidney to you or you say them that i have given my heart to you you think right so <laughs> so fourth house is love if the fourth lord is powerful then one is loved by many so in this sense one is popular also one is darling of public one have many people to many people around them to love first thing and because one is loved by many also means that one is very popular so popularity is also given by the fourth house first thing when there is strong planet connected to the fourth house in that particular scenario strong love is there these people are the ones who will have love in their life you know the song is there har kisi ko nahi milta yahan pyar zindagi mein not everyone gets love in this life people having a strong planet in fourth house are the ones who will have love in life experience love in life now if the seventh lord is connected to fourth house fourth lord is connected to seventh house then love marriage will happen right according to my experience and believe me my friend when i am telling you according to my experience the principle work 100% you should know how to apply it and there is no rocket science in how to apply it how normally astrology is applied in the same manner it should be applied if i am telling you according to my research according to me if i am telling you something it works that's why i am telling it to you right so coming back to the point seventh seventh and fourth having any type of connection does indicate love marriage fourth lord powerful will also indicate that person can be very successful successful in love so these are the people who will experience love also so a strong planet connected to the fourth house are those people who will experience love will be madly in love and fourth lord powerful will indicate that the love will succeed as well right so love marriage etc can happen fourth and seventh lord connected to each other will also indicate that marriage will have fourth and seventh lord fourth and seventh house connected to each other will also indicate that a love marriage will happen right also because fourth house indicates heart and love as i must have told earlier also planet connected to the fourth house indicates what one loves what one likes right so accordingly the like and dislike of the other person can be understood can be found out and accordingly gifts can be given which will please the other person right but why fourth house is love right people have decided fifth house indicate love as if our sages have told nothing our sages have clearly told fourth house indicates bandhu who is bandhu do you think bandhu is brother then what is sahodar sahodar comes from the word sah udar sah means together udar means womb so the one who was together in the womb or the one who have shared your womb is sahodar that is the brother then who is bandhu bandhu can be taken as cousins etc that is one thing but other than that but other than cousins etc you see in hindi when someone is friend you say he is my friend but when someone is a very dear friend you see he you say he is our brother that very dear friend is called brother so that is bandhu are to mera bhai hai right this is bandhu so friend is a friend very dear friend is bandhu right so if a boy is having a female friend that is a female friend if one is having a very close female friend you will call it love affair girlfriend this is what is bandhu right so love affair girlfriend love is bandhu that is fourth house right in this same manner because fourth house indicate love also and fourth house indicate home also and fourth house indicate land also so live in relationship living in together is also indicated by the fourth house so generally when like you know live in relationship etc is characterized by the dasha antar dasha of fourth lord dasha antar dasha of a beneficial powerful planet connected to the fourth house or a major transit in fourth house when seventh and fourth are connected to each other in this particular scenario live in relationship etc also happens or you say before marriage person lives with their spouse for some time or for long time also in prashna as well this can be used if someone is asking question about should i move in live in relationship 
will the live-in relationship work, etc. Analyzing the fourth house, answer can be given. To so take a very clear note that fourth house indicate love and everything related to love because you love by your heart, not by your kidney, liver, stomach, intestine. Right? And last point in the last to last video, I have asked that if a if a planet is under the influence of malefics, etc., it is called afflicted. But what is the opposite of afflicted? Affliction is taken as a disease, right? Affliction is called, affliction is a disease. Affliction is a painful condition. Afflicted planet is a pedith planet. The opposite of affliction is healthy planet, right? So either the planet is afflicted, either the planet is strong or weak, either the planet is afflicted or healthy, right? Thank you.